again, it's Dr. Beckley, and I'm, I'm here to talk to you about uh, some, one of the things we're most excited about bringing to uh, Anarchapoco this February 10th to the 20th is stem cells. And today we're um, at Creovita, who is a stem cell provider that uh, Dr. Evo Veras, who's joining us, and she's, she's the one that's really making this happen for us. Um, and we got uh, Alejandro Escamilla and Rod Rodrigo Perez of Creovita. Creovita has been uh, working with stem cells for 16 years. We have several certifications right here. We're filming at the laboratory that is certified by GMP practices, and it's also certified by COFEBRIS, which is the Mexican organ of uh, regulation here. Uh, we also have three uh, PhD honoris causa. We are the only laboratory in Latin America that has uh, this type of facilities that you're here, uh, that, that you're seeing right now. The purpose of me coming here today is I wanted to make sure that everybody understood that um, uh, the quality of the stem cells and, and how everything is produced is, is, is first rate. It's not par. Kofi Priest certifies all this. Kofi Priest is the equivalent of the FDA within the United States. And um, uh, you know, one of the other questions I know that people are going to have: Well, you guys are producing these stem cells. How long are they viable for? How do we get it to Acapulco and know that their the viability is actually going to be really high and of, of high quality. You, you want to talk to them a little bit about that again? Of course, the, the viability is uh, at a maximum of three days. Once the stem cells are produced, they are produced on a daily basis here in our laboratory. So uh, once the stem cells are produced, we send them out. Uh, and uh, going to Acapulco, it, that's going to be a process that's going to take around five or six hours. But uh, our stem cells are preserved. And, uh, at the perfect temperature, which is between 2 and 10 degrees Celsius, in a special packaging that we have when we ship them over there. So by the time they arrive to Acapulco, you will have fresh stem cells uh, ready to be used. Uh, after three days, the viability of the cells decreases exponentially. Uh, all the procedures that we have to extract those stem uh, cells uh, and the tissue that is used to produce them are antiseptic. Uh, this is done in an OR, and uh, of course we have uh, different uh, treatments and care about uh, our donor. We make sure that the uh, the donors are all screened for any any pathology, yes. and uh, they're not derived from from the embryos, so there's not an ethical issue there. And the stem cells themselves can differentiate into any of the tissues that um, you would want to have. Uh, regenerating within your body. Here you can see this is this is the facility. Uh, you, want, you want to describe exactly what's happening right here? Yes, we have a laminar flux chamber and this is uh, where, where biologists work. Everything is sterile. So they're working on a sterile environment right now with uh, actual stem cells. They are producing uh, the production of the day. In those uh, chambers they separate the stem cells that have already been cultivated. Right in the back you have the incubators uh, for the stem cells. That's where they grow them. And uh, over here is where they separate them into different doses. Uh, right now we offer uh, different uh, doses of uh, stem cells that go from 5 million to 30 million in one application. Okay. So the bottom line here is that you can see this is this is truly a state-of-the-art facility. There are several controls to maintain sterility. Everything that goes in and out of the laboratory is UV screened. It's also sterilized by uh, hot steam. Uh, also over there we have an entrance chamber and uh, everyone that goes inside the laboratory has to be uh, germ-free. So everything uh, inside the lab is uh, is sterile. Uh, the air filters, uh, temperature is regulated, humidity is regulated, and this uh, accounts for a product of quality. We are following the top international standards. This is a state-of-the-art laboratory, and it's the only one of this kind that you can find in Latin America. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, I think that kind of covers it. So thanks, thank you for that. Thank you. All right.